Welcome to Y Lab. We're a makerspace located in Richmond Hill, Ontario, Canada, in the beautiful David Dunlap Observatory. Yes, it still has a big giant working telescope, and we work out of the historic workshops that used to be used to maintain the telescope in the basement of the building. And as you can tell from the snow, we're in Canada. Why amateur radio? This is our introduction to amateur radio in Canada and particularly how you can get your license with the, the course we're offering for free on YLAB. So what you think of ham radio is usually things like this, big radios, you know, in a, somebody's basement, in a ham shack, you can get really expensive, but this is pretty sophisticated gear with an antenna in your backyard. You can communicate around the world. Lots of hobbyists doing this, trying to do it with as little power as possible. A lot of capabilities in this gear, but there's other reasons too for amateur radio. Why we think amateur radio is useful, first of all, for STEM, science, technology, engineering, and math. A lot of stuff applies to high school level science, uh, things like the speed of light and how it applies to antennas, radios, electronics. Uh, getting into amateur radio is a great way to get your hands dirty with this stuff. It's fun to tinker with stuff, to make things, to see what you can do to make things work. And you often need help to do that. And the local radio clubs have lots of people who are incredibly talented, love to get new people into the hobby, and have a whole variety of interests on the hobby and how you use it. And of course, volunteering opportunities through your local club. You'll find the people in these clubs are active with scout groups. They're active in public service at public events, providing emergency services, communications, working with volunteer fire departments. Uh, there's no end to ways you can make friends and help out in the community. And finally, you can blow as little or as much money as you want. Some of the gear is pretty expensive. It's also incredible what you can do with just a little money and a bit of tinkering. Uh, in later videos, we'll be showing you how you can get equipped to communicate around the world and uh, play with a bunch of technology for under a hundred bucks. Under a hundred bucks? Yeah. You know, if I look at these two radios here, the one on the right is one I can buy at any big box store, actually a better big box store. This is a high-end GMRS radio on the right. That doesn't require a license in Canada. Uh, it's got a power level. Most of them you buy are about half a watt. This one is a high-end one, just under two watts, the maximum in Canada. The radio on the left is cheaper, goes two and a half times the power to five watts, has a lot of capabilities for communicating with repeaters and other systems, and you can talk around the world with it. You can hook it up to big antennas, do a whole lot more. But you need your amateur radio license to transmit with that radio. Antennas, if you take a look at uh, here, you, that what on the left, what looks like a bunch of scrap tape measure pieces and a piece of wood and tie wraps, is actually an antenna made out of scrap tape measure pieces, a piece of wood, and tie wraps. And it really increases your range, even on that little handheld radio on the left. Uh, it's directional, all kinds of stuff you can do with it. Uh, that black line going down on the right side is ladder line used normally to connect with an antenna, but you can actually make a great antenna out of it and roll it up in your pocket. Dramatically increase the range. Uh, there's digital radio stuff, SDR, Software Defined Radio. This little device in the picture costs you about 25 bucks. You hook it to your PC, and with a ton of free software, you can be seeing the radio signals like you would on an expensive scope that used to cost thousands of dollars. Uh, you can decode digital radio, all kinds of amazing stuff you can do with this. And, you know, it costs about 25 bucks. And of course, you know, if you've got a soldering iron or you can buy one cheap, uh, all kinds of stuff you can use, learn to use it, uh, start building some things, even not necessarily fine electronics, just to put connectors on that garbage antenna you're making with the scrap parts. Now, how we teach the class. Most classes are taught with this book on the left. This is a great guide. It's the official study guide or almost official. It is the most popular one in Canada. 
It's written by some gentlemen in our local club. Uh, it's quite a book. Uh, we consider it for this class to be a reference. We think every amateur radio operator in Canada should have this book. Uh, you can look up just about any topic around antennas, the rules, all kinds of how-to sections, but we don't require it for this class. What we do is we've got a series of slides and a quiz site that we're making all available for free. We're adding videos where we're talking through the slides and we really focus on getting you through the test. Once you get through the test, we're going to be working with our local club to put up more videos uh, to help you get on there, to help you get through using the little radios and things like that, and hopefully to do it cheap. Next steps. What do you do to get your license? How do you get into our material? First of all, reach out to your local amateur radio club. Uh, you can search on Google. Uh, this site, DX Zone, lists most of the clubs in North America and Canada. Radio Amateurs of Canada. This is kind of an official organization in Canada representing amateur radio operators. Uh, they do some classes as well. They're a little more stuffy and official than our classes, but they've got a lot of critical information on the frequencies, the rules for using the frequencies, and they provide a lot of valuable services like uh, how to get international licenses. If you're going to travel out of the country, there are rules and you may need a special permit. Uh, RAC provides you that stuff. Uh, they lobby on behalf of amateurs, a great organization. Finally, jump to our next video that's going to introduce the material and how we teach it and how you can get started. Again, we're Y-Lab. Uh, you can check us out on our website, ylab.ca, and uh, all the links we referenced in this presentation uh, will be in the comments section below the video. Uh, and this presentation and other stuff, the slides are all on our website and available for anybody else who wants to teach this. Thank you for listening, and uh, don't forget to hit that like button or something like that.